Okay, so here is everything that I finished my around the world trip with, my 2018 slash 2019 around the world trip. Got a little two camera setup going here just so you guys can get a little closer to see what all I have in here, what all that I finished up with. And um, actually the first thing I'm gonna do is pull the clip from vlog number one of this little series. So that way, I feel like that might add something. You can see how I started this trip and then I'll show you what all is in my pack and what all I finished with. Yeah, the climate of Southeast Asia, you know, the multiple countries that I'm going to there, and then the three countries in Europe, the climate of these places are very different. So that definitely presents like a unique challenge for this trip. But I think I've figured it out. So here, let me try and show you what all I'm bringing here. So this is like a checked bag. So I'm gonna check a bag. I don't like doing that. It definitely brings up the price of traveling, but throughout Europe, I'm gonna check a bag and uh, that's basically just gonna carry all my winter clothes whenever I'm flying from you know Ireland to Italy or Italy to Greece. And uh, then when I go from Greece to um, Bangkok, Thailand, I'm gonna switch to just a carry-on. So I kind of have like all like old clothes or used clothes or clothes that I bought at like Goodwill. And then when I get to Greece, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna like leave all these clothes there. So. Yeah, that's that's the plan for now. Okay, so I didn't really go through my whole pack before I left like I should have, but I did do the trip just like I intended to do and left that huge green bag in Greece and finished with this, which was just a carry-on. The only thing that's missing from this pack is a small travel laptop, which I left with my brother in Australia. Basically, it just put me over the weight limit on one of the airlines in Australia. I think this is kind of common knowledge, but it's always more expensive to pay for baggage at the airport. So definitely make sure you look at your luggage limitations before you buy your ticket. That's one thing when you're searching for a ticket. Just because it's the cheapest ticket doesn't mean it's actually the cheapest for the amount of baggage that you might have. Do your research, look around, and make sure you're getting the best deal for your flight. All that being said, let's go through the bag. Oh man, it's good to be back in the United States. They didn't go through my stuff. I had zero issues coming in. Didn't get popped in security or asked a bunch of questions or taken to a white room or anything. No, no, they didn't have to put the glove on. None of that. It was all good. So we'll just go through here. Basically, I'll just start from the back and move forward. Um, yeah, I'll move this, move this dude over. So what do we get? What do we get here? Basically, the first thing I got is a bag inside a bag. That's pretty crazy, right? Not really. Um, yeah, I just use this when I go hiking so I'm not getting all funky. You know, I'm not getting my travel bag all funky when I get sweaty on a hike. There's nothing in it. It's just a, uh, a nice light day pack. It's an REI Flash 22. Good little day pack. Uh, what else we get in here? We got some... Uh, oh yeah, this is just like a folder that I use. I keep like important papers in it. So I did have travel insurance when I was there. I had an international driving uh, permit just for renting a motorbike in Southeast Asia. Some of the countries recognize that, some of them don't, but I think it's just good to have. I have my dive log in here. Yeah, just important papers basically, would all, only thing that I would keep in here. Um, also have in here, an external hard drive. Again, my laptop, I would keep that in here, but it is no more. My little external hard drive, I would just back up a lot of my videos. So that's it for the first compartment. And then I have like this little top po pocket here. Um, just keep some headphones. Got my phone charger. And then, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Uh, it's just a lock. This bag, I would just like chain my bag to the bed. <laughs> Sounds kind of paranoid, but I have been in some places where there's been some theft at hostels that I've stayed at. So I just kind of gotten in the habit of doing that. And then I have these two little suitcase locks and I just lock uh, these two compartments and I'll have like just my camera and my laptop locked up and it's chained to the bed. I mean, honestly, somebody could obviously steal that. These locks are not hard to break and they could just break the bag or force the bag open even with the locks locked. But just keeps an honest man innocent, you know? Don't make it easy on the thieves to just take it, man. Some of these hostels, I'll see people leaving like a brand new MacBook or their phones out and I think you're just being negligent. You just, you really gotta protect your, uh, protect your stuff and 
some people might kind of be like rolling your eyes like you're locking your bag to your bed but i don't know i've never had anything stolen from me so i think you know doing something as simple as that it doesn't take long to lock that up but and a lot of the hostels have like lockers you know so anyways that's it in that pocket what do we got in here so basically this is just a big ridiculously large battery i have an old iphone se um, works pretty good um, but yeah this can get me several charges on that i got a spoon um, I've got some uh, leftover pills, some Imodium. Definitely a must if you're going to Asia. I had some Advil and Tylenol in here. Good to have in case you get a headache. Got a little uh, hand towel. This was actually the only towel that I used in while well, taking a shower. That might be a hard thing for some people to, to try and get used to, but take a full shower, you know, kind of like dry your hair off beforehand or just let it air dry. And then, you know, that's, it's really not that hard to use a towel this small. Some people are probably rolling their eyes at that. But yeah, this was just another where I had some tile, uh, some ibuprofen in here, but I used it all. Just a headband, like one of those buff headbands. I've worn it before in some of my past videos. That's it in there. And in this pocket, same pocket on the other side. In that pocket, I would keep this tripod. Yeah, that's kind of the only thing that I had in there. But in here, we get a rain jacket. Didn't use that at all pretty much in Southeast Asia, but I did use it a few times in like on buses. So some of the buses in Southeast Asia, they use like air condition. Here, let me like move this up. Like they make it really cold in like movie theaters and on some buses in Southeast Asia. Um, this is my rash guard for uh, snorkeling slash scuba diving. I think I wore this in a couple videos. I definitely wore it on some GoPro videos, but basically it's just so you don't have to Put sunscreen on you know it's kind of like a really small thin wetsuit also prevents jellyfish stings saw a few jellyfish in southeast asia and in australia but all right so yeah and this bag is just like electronic stuff so i've got like my gopro batteries accessories for my gopro the memory cards i also have a headlamp in there i think that's good to have in southeast asia i was at several hostels where the power went out it's good to have a headlamp so you can get around in your hostel when the power goes out. One of the hostels I stayed at and it went out for like three days. No refund either, man. They're not giving you your money back. What else we got in here? Just random wires. Uh, so that was to charge the, the battery pack. This is to charge the uh, GoPro batteries. So this is what I would keep my clean laundry in. This is where I keep my dirty laundry. So when they smell really bad, I'll like put them in a plastic bag just so it doesn't smell, make my bag smell, you know what I mean? All right, we'll like tilt this fucker down. So I have a, uh, so yeah, I have like a prescription mask. I had this made while I was in Thailand and I've got like two waterproof GoPro housings. So I did do uh, some, some diving with these. So look for those coming up. I'll definitely be releasing some videos uh, showing my dive footage that I got. And then I've got a snorkel. It's like such random stuff in here. Oh yeah, I have one of these like money clip things. Uh, I just brought this. I think I used it once when I got to uh, Dublin. But then I was like, why am I using this? I don't really, didn't really feel like I needed it. You know, I feel like having my wallet right in my front pocket and then my phone, I never felt like my stuff was uh, at risk of being stolen. And in this pocket, I would just keep mostly like toiletries. So like I have a razor, toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, I only got back yesterday, so I'm still a little jet lagged. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. Oh yeah, here's some pills that I got. It's all in Thai. I got those when I had my ear infection in, where is it, Surat Thani. Surat Thani, Thailand. I had some sunscreen in there as well. That's another thing to note if you're going to Southeast Asia, bring your sunscreen beforehand because it's really expensive in Southeast Asia and they also use like whitening cream on it. So they like to make their skin whiter. Apparently that's weird because like here in Western countries, all the girls like lay out and they're trying to get tan, um, but not in Asia. They're trying to get their skin whiter. Definitely bring some sunscreen though. It's going to be a lot cheaper buying it in, a, in the US or probably in a Western country. What else we got? This little pocket here, we get 
Uh, this is my, my eardrops. I got a pen. Should always bring a pen with you. I also have a pencil because I'm a guy who makes mistakes. Don't we all? Got some hand sanitizer. This is a good thing to have. It is a um, one of those like headphone uh, dividers. So like if somebody's watching a movie, you can like, hey, you wanna watch the movie with me? Good way to make friends on an airplane or a bus. So I also have like, so I brought two phone uh, cases. One is waterproof and the other one is like an old Otterbox. My phone's naked right now, which is kind of making me nervous. I like to have a phone case. Uh, but yeah, these, uh, the waterproof one, it was always hard. I had to like yell in it to talk to people. But when I was in Southeast Asia, you know, just traveling on boats and stuff, sometimes you just, the boat just like lands on the beach and you have to like jump out and you might get waist, in waist deep water getting out of the boat. So I think it's good to travel with a waterproof uh, housing if you're gonna go to Southeast Asia. Um, oh, this is just like a tourist SIM card pack. Yeah, you might see one of those. Was it True Move in Thailand? So yeah, I, I kind of keep my, all my old SIM cards. That's one of the uh, weird things that I keep. <laughs> I have a bug net too, which only came in handy in like northern Vietnam and northern Thailand, which was the only places I was really weirded out about the mosquitoes. You can go on the CDC website and check and see what diseases are uh, are relevant for whatever country you're going to. All right, so uh, that's about it. I did want to show you, so the shoes that I brought, shoes that I wore, they're Ultra Lone Peaks 3.0s, 3.5, I'm not sure. They're good like hiking shoe, I would recommend if you're gonna do a lot of hiking and stuff. Also my wallet, it is a big skinny uh, wallet. Would definitely recommend it, it's a good wallet because it holds it holds both my passports. I have a, an Irish passport as well, but uh, really a good wallet. I'll put a link for that below if anybody wants to check it out, would recommend it. It's also got a little nice little change purse so you can hold your coins in Europe and a lot of other countries, coinage is important, you know? You gotta toss those coins over the counter. So that's about it. Uh, what else do we have in here? This small pocket. Uh, what is this? Oh, just another uh, SIM card, a library card from Sydney. And of course, you gotta have some condoms. You never know, guys. So yeah, there's a lot of benefits to traveling around with this small bag. Um, for one, it's cheaper. There's less waiting in lines at the airport. There's no need to rush to baggage claim after your plane leaves. So that's especially helpful if you just have a connecting flight in one city. So sometimes they will, you'll get a, a ticket to one destination, have a connecting flight, and you'll have to go through, get your bag, and then recheck it with another airline. I know I've, I've booked flights doing that. Like when you're flying long distances, um, I've booked flights through Kiwi.com and they'll do that. They'll sell you the ticket, but they're not going to guarantee that you can get there. So you have to make sure that you have enough time to get your checked bags, which is why just having a carry-on is better in that circumstance. All right, so hopefully the big takeaway from this video is that you'll see that you don't need to bring a lot of stuff with you when you go traveling. And also, you don't need to rush out and get a brand new bag. This is just a bag that I've had laying around the house for years. Um, I actually had to get it sewed up while I was in Bangkok. It did rip, but uh, you know, whatever. I got somebody some work in Bangkok, a seamstress. So uh, yeah, that's, that's about all I'm gonna do for this video. I'm gonna do like a gear, what's in my pack video for after my New Zealand series is finished. So, cause that was, I had a more of a hiking setup for there. So be on the lookout for that video in a month or so when the New Zealand series finishes. And uh, yeah, I hope this video was helpful to somebody out there. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.